Hey loves, I don't know about you guys, but the one thing I've been dying to get done is a wax. And obviously with the social distancing and the pandemic that's happening right now, none of the places are open. So <laughs> I did some research on how to get it done myself at home and it worked amazingly. It was super easy and yeah, it was a lot less painful than having it done professionally. So I figured I would share that with you guys. This is the wax that I made. I made extra because I didn't want to have to keep making it every time I needed to wax. But I'm going to show you guys how to make this and how easy it is to wax your legs at home. If you want to see all of that, definitely keep watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the video. First thing you're going to need is some sugar. I measured 100 grams of sugar and poured it into the pot. Next up you're going to need water and you only need 2 tablespoons of water. The last thing you'll need is lemon juice and you only need 2 tablespoons of this as well. Add it all into the pot and that is it. Make sure your heat is turned to medium because this will prevent it from burning. Once it starts boiling, stir it and this will also help prevent it from burning. When it gets to a golden brown shade, take it off the heat and put it on the side and let it cool down. As it cools down, you notice that it gets thicker. See, the thing is, the longer you boil it for, the harder the wax will get when it completely cools down. And I boiled mine for over 10 minutes because my heat was pretty low and this is what it looks like once it's all cooled down. For the waxing part, you're going to need some baby powder or any other powder for that matter. What the powder does is that it removes the moisture from your skin, which then helps the wax to fully stick to your skin when you apply it. You're going to also need a um, popsicle stick, but I didn't have a popsicle stick, so I ended up just using a butter knife from my kitchen because, well, improvisation. And the last thing you'll need for the waxing bit is your wax strips. I made mine out of a t-shirt that I had that was 100% cotton. You need to make sure that it is cotton. Okay, very important. The last thing you're going to do is then apply the wax and you need to ensure that when you apply the wax, you apply it in the opposite direction of your hair growth. So my hair grows downwards, so I applied it upwards. And you can check this by feeding your skin to see which direction the hair is growing if it is not visibly clear. And when you do this, it helps you mold the hair into the wax so that when you do the ripping part, it grabs all the hair. Lastly, apply the wax strip to the patch you want to wax and press it in and then rip it off. I used the same strip to do the second bit as well because the wax was hard enough to let me do that. And that is literally it. Your skin is hair free and it wasn't very painful at all. Thanks for watching.